Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stinger. When we last left off, we'd gone uh, fishing in the fish shop, more or less. Uh, we did manage to get the fish poison, and we poisoned the fish. Also, off camera, I have spent a little bit of time grinding out money. About an hour, hour and a half, something like that. And holy shit, I'll show you basically what I've been doing. Um, holy shit, man. I had forgotten just how long it took to grind money in this game. I mean, it's not bad. And, you know, if you had like an entire day to put in, you probably could grind out a crazy amount of money. Um, but after a while, the tedium <laughs> does get you. So, essentially, our strat has been to come into this area and e-honda these guys to death. Repeatedly, repeatedly, because this guy in white, my god, I mean, he drops like 200. Uh, which sounds like a small amount of money when, <laughs> when I say it like that. And yeah, yeah, you have to do this a lot, man. I mean, it's kind of fun to see all those coins kind of rain down. And uh, this friendly little mutant chap making it rain, but... You know, uh, my my sanity did start to uh, catch up with me, and I was questioning the fabric of the universe doing this for over an hour. So we're going to leave it there. Now, um, I have burned a copy of the American version of this game, so we are back to being in VGA, which is you know the way it's meant to be played. Right, let's go back to Elliot anyway, because he can actually, like, move. Oh, God, we're injured. Oh, man, that's no good. That's no good at all. Right, what can we give Elliot? Uh, items, food. I've obviously been using a lot of these drinks, just because inevitably you do get damaged fighting these guys, obviously. Um, but we've, you know, we've done okay. Right, there we go. Get Elliot to have a couple of these bad boys. Hopefully he doesn't need to have a massive piss. Because that will slow the action down a little bit. Right, let's go uh, to the vending machine. And we will top up on a couple of things. Yeah, okay. These things are so cheap, we might as well stock up a little bit on those. Um, it kind of feels a little bit redundant buying these, but... You know, I don't want to cheese the game too much with the, the like, unlimited health, pretty much. Uh, but, eh, you know, I guess it is what it is. I don't really care too much. I don't, I don't feel that it ruins the game that much. Because, as you can see, we do have uh, more than enough money um, to buy as much of that as we actually want. You know, we could buy as much health as we actually wanted. It doesn't really matter. The only reason I'm not doing it that way is in the interest of saving time. So, let's go swimming. Now the killer fish are gone. Ah, that fresh, clear water. Now, it's been ages since I've actually played this game. And I can't remember. Uh, no, Elliot. Elliot, what? Dude. Elliot, can we, can we get some forward momentum going, please? What is going on here? Uh, we're like stuck in the water. Okay, now he decides to move. That was... What is going on here? Oh my god. You know, the controls for the, for the swimming in this game really are proper jank. Now, how do we get over here? I do, look, I, I'm desperately trying to turn Elliot around and he is not having it at all. Uh, yeah, I think we can come up here maybe. Can we? Uh, nope. How do we get up there? Oh, I remember. I think. I think I remember. Right, let's get some air. And let's go the way that we're supposed to go. Yeah, swimming in this game is total ass. It's so unexplainably bad. 
Okay. Oh, shit. I forgot about this place. You know what? Let's just take him out. It'd be nice if we could see what we were doing. And the recoil has literally just pushed us into the back. <laughs> into the last screen. Uh, okay. I mean, maybe not. No, it has. Why? Okay, so the shoot button... Or should I say the swim button was actually shooting. Oh, this game. Honestly, guys, this game. I mean, what can you say? This game... I don't want to say it should have had the water sections cut, but... I don't know, maybe it should have had the water sections cut. Uh, in your own time, Elliot. Right, let's keep swimming forwards before we, you know, drown. Uh, Elliot, can we shoot at that guy? Elliot. Elliot, you're a dull lad. I'm going to just say that. I'm just going to put it out out there for anybody who wants to know. You really are a dull lad. Oh, God. Right, let's see if we can navigate this. Okay. That works. Elliot, is there any chance you could aim your gun down and shoot that guy? No? Okay. Yeah, I, d I didn't want to shoot him either, Elliot. I kind of feel bad for him. Elliot. Sometimes I worry about you, Elliot. I suppose we did shoot that fish about 750,000 times. He's basically Swiss cheese. I'm going to roleplay and pretend that he's bleeding to death. Because it pleases me. Right, what have we got here? Box of railgun ammo, not bad. Another box of railgun ammo. Okay, I was not expecting that, but I'll definitely tuck those into the old back pocket. Ah, that bloody fish though. That's going to piss me off. Oh, we can shoot it from here. Kind of. Come back here, you fucking bastard. I mean, I'm holding down the look button, but I, I really don't know where he was looking there for a minute. I'm sure you can kill this thing. I mean, honestly. How many bullets does this thing take? Huh. I guess it isn't as mortal as I thought. Son of a bitch, though. Right, cool. Let's get out of here anyway. Okay, Elliot. Ready to keep swimming? Just keep swimming. I think we just keep swimming. Yes, we do. Right, nice. Hopefully no more killer fish for a little while. Nope, we got no more killer fish here. We just have an eternal bloody tunnel. I hope this isn't a sewer. That would be really uh, unfortunate, wouldn't it? way out. Well, thank you, Sai. I was confused. And yeah, I'm really not sure why um, our health, uh, well, our air meter is draining the way it is. Kind of always seemed a bit weird to me. Because, you know, we're not technically underwater. Just Elliot's being a bit useless is all. Put the axe away, Elliot. The door is locked. Oh, you've unlocked it. Good. <laughs> I was going to say, what bullshit is this? Alright, cool. Oh, hey, friend. Getting a cheap shot on me, are you? Well, you can get fucked. To be quite frank. Yeah, give me your pennies on the floor. Look at that. Pittance. Pathetic. I cure you of your unlife, and you give me coins. That was sad. Elliot, how did you miss this guy? Literally just missed a bullet. I mean, what does this guy give us? Five coins? Five? It's kind of worthless, really. Ah, pathetic. What's with all these poor enemies going around? Right, let's go back to the shop. And on the way to the shop, I guess we can kick an ass or two. Because why not? Right, come on you. Wake up. Wake up. Allow me to cure you. There we go. Oh, you are ugly, sir. Oh, Ooh, yes. Let me uh, free you from that tortured existence. 
Oh, God. Looking at your face is making me feel sick. Right. Anyway, uh, nothing around there. Let's go to the shop. Hopefully, we can buy a nice little item designed for kicking ass. Now, I'm not sure what item I was going to buy. Oh, yes. We'll get two steak plates as well if we can. Kind of. Well, it's not a waste of money, per se. Oh, my God. Sweet Jesus, they are expensive. Like, why? Why are they so expensive, man? Uh, right, have a steak. Like, honestly, 2,400. Yep, there we go, maxed out. I mean, Elliot's maxed out now. Can we max out Mr. Dogs? Or does he require another steak plate? If he requires more steak, that's unfortunate. Oh god, I... Oh, not quite. Son of a bitch. <sighs> uh, what else have we got here? A steak would be a waste. Pasta? Yeah, maybe have to get a pasta. Kind of a waste though, you know what I mean? Because uh, we need that money for, like, ass-kicking weapons. Go on, eat it. Eat it. Gonna have to do some serious running. There we go. Maxed out. Gonna have to do some serious running to burn off those carbs. Jesus. Yeah, I think we've got a little bit more than three grand. Open the damn door. The cash sensors. How long before we get those in real life? You're not allowed inside. Uh, you can't go to Curry's or, I don't know, Tesco's without having your pockets scanned. If you don't have like more than X amount of money, it just comes up saying deadbeat, deadbeat, deadbeat. Right, one second, guys. I'm going to pause because I'm going to go pour a coffee. That godlike bean juice has been poured. Right, so. Ah, uh, nectar of the gods. So we could get the Gatling gun. Gatling gun's fun, but. Uh, if you've seen my previous playthrough, it's not quite quite as effective as I remembered. Now, obviously, we have the railgun. Uh, the Iron Fists are fun, but they're not really, you know, like, that good. Wrestling T-shirt, I don't think we have. Do we have the wrestling T-shirt? I honestly can't remember. Weapons. We actually don't. Huh. Interesting. Maybe we'll have to come back and get that at some point. Right. Let's have a little squiz. Laser gun is pretty damn cool. But that's what we want. <sighs> oh, yeah. That is Dog's Missile Launcher. And it's literally cost us pretty much all of our money. But this thing is monstrous, man. Um, it pretty much will kill anything with a dragon launcher. 120 millimeter missile. So the M78 uh, Dragoon, oh Dragoon, sorry. This powerful missile launcher holds up to three 120 millimeter missiles at a time. It is very heavy and hard to handle. It is, but it essentially evaporates just about anything that comes into contact with it. Um, we need to buy ammo for it though. Oh my God. God, that's expensive. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so um, Dogs gets the 120mm missile launcher. Elliot gets the 80mm uh, uh, rocket launcher, which, you know, is still mega, mega powerful. It's just Dogs is better. Get a couple of boxes of napalm as well. Just finish off our cash just because it seems like a good idea. You know. Let's also uh, equip the launcher so we can load her up. Oh, this thing is a big boy. She's a big boy. Um, right, let's change back up to, over to Elliot. Now... We need to go back and see Janine, don't we? Janine King. Right, let's go.
So, we've got our new friend, Mr. Big Boy. Plenty of girth. And it's basically the final fuck you to any beastie that we're going to come across. And we still got our fire axe as well. I get the feeling that we should have a better weapon than our fire axe at the moment. But at the same time, eh, you know, it does the job. Get up. Get up and die. We're not really worth our time. But, you know, I guess... I guess money is money, right? Okay, let's go back. See Janine. I've also invested quite heavily in some new recording gear. Uh, for my... Oh, God. Didn't even see you. My God. I've got a touch of the tards, guys. Can't even see these guys. The hell is wrong with me? I suppose really, whilst we're out here, we might as well go harvest this guy as well. Oi, dick cheese. Yeah, you. Come on, you ugly bastard. I'm not going to waste my time cutting you down with the axe. Oh, uh, you know what? Go on, then. Have that to remember me by. I'm not really sure, like, how, what the lore is with this game. I mean, potentially they could explain the enemies coming back by giving them some kind of regenerative power. That could work. I would like to see some... Uh, I would like to see another game. Another blue stinger. Ooh. A couple of guys here. Well, that's okay. Ready, Elliot? <sighs> Time to kick an ass or two. You know... Maybe we should be dogs for this. Oh my god, we're getting our ass stumped. Oh, there's another one. I thought there was a triple here. Oh god, that was not good. You know, dogs might be the guy we're looking for here. He hasn't even noticed us. He's just like over there in the distance. What a jerk off. Let's go take him out, shall we? Uh, yeah. Let's be dogs, and let's equip. Let's get some sumo action going, shall we? Yeah, all right, dogs. Your time to shine. Now, the great thing about this sumo uh, action is it does stunlock the enemy. It doesn't do, like, a huge amount of damage, but it stunlocks, which is really good. Now, it kind of falls apart a little bit when you've got more than one enemy coming at you. Did that guy literally just drop three coins? You peasant. You absolute peasant. Ugh. Although, I have to say, one thing that always impresses me about the Dreamcast um, is just how sharp and clean the games look uh, when you run them in VGA mode. It really was. Like, I mean, it's much better than the PS2. The PS2 had better graphics overall, yes. Uh, I don't think anyone can deny that, especially when they got going. I mean, the argument could be said that we never really saw what the Dreamcast could do, which I think is a fair thing to say, but I... Oh, we're going the wrong way. I don't think we ever would have um, seen the Dreamcast, uh, you know, outperforming the, the PlayStation 2 or anything like that. It just, it just wouldn't have happened. I think it probably would have stayed in, in, in kind of like throwing distance. But the PS2 had the edge for absolute sure. But the clarity, the Dreamcast was a much higher resolution machine um, doing 480p, where the majority of PlayStation 2 games were 480i. Now, the PS2 could do 720p, and it could do 1080i as well. But it never really did that. It did that on like three games, I think. Um, and even in those games, performance suffered. But, it, you know, it was impressive. But I'm not sure why the PlayStation 2 didn't um, do more 480p games. Because the, the GameCube did a lot of 480p games. And the Xbox especially. It was, a, it was a good 480p, 720p machine. Which is really interesting when you think about it. But the Dreamcast, man. 
Yeah, it, it had the edge in the resolution for sure. Now obviously the Dreamcast would have been proper stuffed up against the GameCube and the original Xbox, which those machines were just in, in a different league. Um, a lot of people still think that the, the PlayStation 2 was uh, more powerful than the GameCube, which simply isn't the case. The GameCube was massively, massively uh, more powerful. Um, when, in actual fact, the PlayStation 2, performance-wise, was way below the Xbox and the, the GameCube. It really was outgunned. And on top of that, it was a nightmare to develop for. Whereas the GameCube and the uh, Xbox were quite easy to uh, develop for. But the PlayStation 2 had the games. It had the games, man, and that's what counts. Right, now I'm pretty sure we've got to go this way to see Janine. What are we up to financially? 670. Meh. We've actually crawled, like, clawed some money back pretty well. Way better than I thought we would. What am I doing here? Why, why am I going wrong? Where the hell is Janine? She is back here. Why did I get turned around? Titan, you fool. Yeah, we don't really want, You know what? We'll take these guys out. If we can. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna get bad. Up against two. Yeah, see this is just like a demonstration of, of why two people two enemies kind of uh overpower us. Can we try Let's try the karate. I don't know how good the karate shirt Oh god. Alright. I mean it's it's good at kind of breaking pieces off them, which is cool. Not bad, actually. Right, come at me, fool. Not bad. Now, it's important to note, even if we block as dogs, uh, he still takes damage. He just takes a very small amount of damage. Also, note how much health we have. We have loads and loads and loads of health. Yet, we're already limping. Like, we have twice the health that we would start with, and we're limping. That's one thing that really annoys me. Well, not annoys me, but I just think it's a bit silly. Because, really, you shouldn't be limping until we're really quite far down in the health department. I always thought that was funny. I guess they just, uh, the way they sorted it out, um, it's obviously done on a percentage of how much health you have left. Yeah. No, that's the shuttle. Check gate. That's the way back. Oh, right. Hang on. Man, you can tell I haven't played this for ages. Yeah, because this is the way that we have to go. Because Janine was up in that corner. Up on that roof shooting the big mutant bastard that jumped out in front of us. <sighs> She's definitely an A+. Plus. Are you sure about that? A+. Plus. I guess... We're going this way. Either that, or I'm like really turned around, and I'm constantly going in the wrong direction. And we really should be playing as Elliot because dogs is just so freaking slow, man. Oh god damn it! Elliot's also pretty slow because he's injured. Food, uh, suck down a large big boy. There we go. Put airs on your chest, lad. 
Now let's go power up these stairs and burn those steaks off. Because there's a lot of calories in steak. I mean, you know, it's uh, it's it's pretty lean protein, so there's that. In fact, those steak dinners are probably quite good. Although I can imagine the sauce that they're slathered in is loaded with salt. Which is bad. Uh, we've got you. Do want to take you out? I mean, I guess we could. Ha uh, bastard. How many coins are you going to give me? Yeah, I should give you a few. I mean, it's not bad. Definitely acceptable. Yeah, this is the way we need to go. This is the way. I don't know why that took me so long. I literally, I feel like I come down with like retardation. I want to actually say something else, but you know, uh, YouTube and all that. Who is it? Council culture. Elliot. What's the code? It's something I'm I would sweet. find funny, but. You know, the snowflakes are like, you can't say that. Like, well, actually, um, yes, I can. But I better not. Right. Hello, Janine. Welcome home, you tough guy. This is for you, honey. Oh, the dialogue. Oh, I think, I think it's giving, on, it's giving me it AIDS. Happen. Oh, my God. As you can see, the cutscenes are now perfectly in sync. Elliot. Uh, yes, we actually do. No luck. We need a password. Well, calm down, my sweetheart. Uh, I think, thinking about it, if we have a look. Uh, freezer, storage, Elliot ATM, li is it license? Uh... May 13th, which, if I'm thinking about this correctly, that would be, uh, let me count, 05, 13, let's try that, 05, 13, um, Janine, uh, please don't cut Janine in half, we kind of need her. What's the password? Let's try O five thirteen. There we go. Gotcha. It's okay. Mm. The password's accepted. Well, I hope so. That took all the power of my brain to work that out. Lower carrying capacity. Cannot. Oh, missed that. I guess we gotta give it up. Electric system is dead. We can't get into the host of the lab. We have a light here. It's coming from a different route. I'll bet you need a bigger electric system in the mm. deep island. What are they doing in such a place? The lab there is called Fossil Home. Even security guards are not allowed to get in there. It's like a black box. I've never seen anything like it. Can we get to the electric system? Mm, I guess. We have Chris's ID. Good. I'll go. Hey, dogs. What? Stay with Janine. I kind of have a bad feeling. When it comes to bad luck, my hunch tend to be right on. Never mind. I don't need a guardian. She made a choice. Fair play. Call me on the line if something happens. Mm, okay, yeah. So the, at least the dialogue's working fine. Isn't that weird, though? Such a strange bug. Right. So we have a plan. We have to go sort out the electrics. Now the electrics uh, bit is a bit of a ball ache from what I can remember. We've gone into the wrong bloody room because of course we have. Titan, can you stop being like such a fucking moron for 30 seconds please? You've already made an absolute pig's ear of this video. If you could stop being so fucking retarded for five seconds. Nope. We had three doors to choose from guys. We had three choices and we Fucked it up twice. <sighs> right, E, it wasn't E. W. It's got to be W then, by process of elimination. Statistically, we should have guessed that right, but... <sighs> we just have to put up with being, like, fucking useless. 
Wait a minute, is this... Oh, God. Uh, don't shoot your gun. Yeah, this is where Janine fired from. That's actually kind of cool. Huh. How about that shit? Right. Anyway, guys. Um, and we've just walked out of the door. Because, of course, we have. Uh... You know, I'm going to blame... Uh, right, okay, I need, I need an excuse for why I'm being so shit. And I can't blame my brain. Uh, I'm going to blame the heat and the fact that I've been at work today. Yes, yes, that'll do. That'll do. Uh, can, can this work, please? So, on that note, guys, I'm going to say thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, till next time.